So you had another great question. How important is the source code of my website? You hear all about this, this thing called CSS or cascading style sheets, right? How important is a style sheet based template or web page as compared to a table based template that someone would have used years ago? See what happens is, you know, obviously Google wants to show the most relevant search result. They want the user to have a good experience when they get to the website and they want to continuously show the best search results. So if your page, right, your page is table based, right? So you just added an additional code, which adds, I don't know, three to five K to your web page. And then you've, you've added in, you know, I don't know, tables. And then you've gotten in some other JavaScript. And then maybe at the top, you've got your styles up here, right? Now this page may end up being like, I don't know, 100K or more in size. That means that somebody who's on an older, um, you know, an older computer with a, a web browser that, um, you know, or an internet connection that doesn't download quite as fast, uh, they're going to bounce back to Google. And Google's going to catch that bounce rate and say, well, that, that page must not have been as relevant. However, if you have a style sheet and you take your styles and you move them up over here, right, into their own little world, and then in your robots file, right, robots.txt, you say, hey Google, you don't need to go in there, just ignore that stuff. In fact, the only thing I want you to see is my content. And maybe some analytics code at the bottom, some little Google analytics, and I, I doubt they're going to penalize you for using their own code, right, for Google Analytics. So now instead of this 100k file, you've gotten your file down to about 23k, or less, hopefully less, and uh, your page will load faster. Google did mention that in their blog on page search, that load time is now a factor and quality score for paid search. In other words, they're going to give you a cheaper rate. They're going to give you a much cheaper rate. As a matter of fact, if your load time is fast and you have a higher quality score. So now instead of spending $8 a click for loan modification, you're going to be spending about 35 cents. So on the organic side, same kind of algorithm. If your page loads fast because you've extracted all your CSS and JavaScript into a separate folder and said, hey, don't, don't go in there. There's nothing in there for you. Just look at my content. Right? Make sure my content is, is nice and organized. Right? I've got a title. I've got the meta description tag. I've got a heading tag, only one heading, H1 tag, and maybe a couple H2s that support, subheadings that support the content, and then some paragraphs, maybe a couple bullets, maybe a video somewhere here at the top. And you want to iframe that video or, or use uh, YouTube or something that is a Google product. You don't, the last thing you want is uh, for the video to end up paying more than this 100k we were just talking about a minute ago. Having a nice, clean, content structured web page that loads quickly, right? That includes, you know, my keywords, includes some call to actions, and a value proposition. And it's got some engaging content here. Then you've got a very high probability of showing up in the search results because now you don't have all this code hogging up your web page, hurting your load time, hurting the user experience. You've got this nice, simple, clean, style sheet based template that loads quickly. It's very simple, organized. It validates through the W3C World Wide Web Consortium. Uh, if you do a Google search right now for W3C validator, you'll find two of them. One is the HTML or XHTML validator. The other one is the um, style sheet validator. So you can actually use both of those tools and uh, in fact, if you've downloaded Google Chrome, you can go and look at code view and validate your code through Google Chrome as well. So a fantastic tool. Get your load time down, get to a style sheet based template because it loads faster and, and provides better user experience and you'll be doing really well with SEO. So great question. Thank you, uh, thank you again for asking.